As Ghana's COVID-19 cases continue to spike, the number of deaths are equally on a sharp rise, with figures showing at least 10 deaths being recorded a day. In a week, we've lost 76 people. Okay. In 10 days, we've lost about 100 people. Currently, every day, we are losing roughly a little over 10 people. Mm. That is what the situation is. It's another day for burying bodies of persons who have succumbed to the virus by the Public Health Directorate of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. There are a total of seven bodies for burial today. Bodies of people who succumbed to the COVID-19 pandemic have been retrieved from the Greater Accra Regional Hospital morgue for onward burial at the Infectious Diseases Cemetery at Awudome here in Accra. Now family members and well-wishers of people who lay in these caskets are weeping and wailing because this is the last time they are bidding farewell to one of their own and in extraordinary circumstances without the usual funeral rites that we know. At the Infectious Diseases Cemetery at Awudome in Accra, unmarked graves of over 100 victims of a ravaging virus, welcomes the team. Leader of the COVID-19 burial team, Inspector Joseph Asitanga, is worried about the growing number of deaths. The morgues are equally getting congested. The peak of the burials pick up after the national elections. That is where we are hit with the massive deaths in all the health facilities. And uh, since from then, we do not have even a specific burial day. So we bury at any time we think that the mortuary needs space and there is no space where we keep them. The overwhelming numbers means more space is required for further burials. We divided ourselves into two. Now some are at um, Ga East conveying the bodies to bury. Two is going to be buried at uh, Jessimani. Muslim is going to the Medina Muslim Burial Centre. So this is how we strategize in terms when the numbers are more. I have seen that this entire place has been cleared. It means that you have many more bodies to bury. Yes, that is exactly so. Where we were burying was not at very conducive because the space was not easy to move around and turn around. So we are given the green light to arrange uh, resources to clear the land, looking at the numbers that we are having as of now. Public Health Director at the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Florence Cucci, says over 90 deaths have been registered with the AMA so far this year alone. We have buried 35 bodies as of now, and we still have about 67 still pending for burials. Last week we buried eight bodies. Today we buried seven. But yesterday we buried two. So including today, it means we buried nine this week. There are times we do emergency burials, especially when we have uh, Muslim brothers, if there is a death pertaining to an Islam, we have to do it on that same day. And as Ghanaians continue to disregard the safety protocols, environmental health workers fear they may completely lose count of the numbers. The COVID is real and it's killing people. It has no structure of your status. The only thing that you can swerve this death is to protect and, pro and make sure you observe the national protocols. Komla Adum, TV3 News, Accra.